Well, Nathan Carr is just 15 years old, but he already has an EP to his name. It was just released, and one song, Red Sand, pays tribute to his PEI roots. He lives in Ajax, Ontario, but his father is from the island and has lots of relatives here. And lots of memories Nathan has of holidays and vacations. I caught up with Nathan earlier. So my dad is from PEI, and we try to go back there every year. It's been a couple years since we've been there, but the last time we were there, I wrote a song called Red Sand, and I was inspired by the uh, Red Sand. We just went on a walk, and the title popped into my head, and we had a view of the Confederation Bridge, and it just inspired me to write that song. So I just went back and grabbed my guitar, and the song was done in a couple of hours. Tell us about your musical career, because you're 15 years old, and you've done a lot already. Yeah, so when I was younger, like two years old, I used to stand in front of the TV with my little guitar and just play along to like Keith Urban videos. And then when I got a little bit older, my dad taught me some chords, and I just started learning off YouTube and continue to practice every day. I have a three-song EP. Dave Langis played the drums on it. Andy Narsing produced as well as, as played bass. It's really special to me because it's my first EP, and it's very important to share it with the world, and I'm super excited about it. Pretty much music is my passion, and I've been doing it for such a long time, so it's really all I want to do. Um, my dream, I guess, is just for people to hear my music and get to perform in front of large audiences and just share the emotions that I've dealt with with other people. How long does it take you to write a song? Is it something you kind of... I don't know, spend days going over or weeks, or is it something that just comes to you? It depends on the song. Like like Red Sand was, was, took a couple hours to write, but some songs can take months. Some can take like years. Like It just depends on how fast the idea comes to you and what you're feeling in that moment. Why did the song about Prince Edward Island come so easily? The song wrote itself, basically. It, I just sat down and the lyrics just came onto the paper. But I don't know, I guess just because there's such a rich connection with with PEI, and it'll be on all listening platforms, Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, you can check it out there. Have you ever thought about what a huge accomplishment this is for somebody who's 15 years old? Yeah, I'm really proud of it. I've been working on it for a few months, and I'm just so thankful to have great parents who supported this, and great producers. It was a really great experience, and I look forward to doing more recording in the future. I'm Nathan Carr, and this is Red Sand. Stumble across red sand You know it belongs here At its home, its native land When you're down on the beach You can see the clear blue water If it's not the red sand that you're on the last 
Walking down on the beach And you stumble across red sand Fifteen-year-old Nathan Carr. That's quite amazing. And uh, he has lots of relatives here on Prince Edward Island who will be watching his musical career with interest. You're listening to Main Street on CBC Radio 1. I'm Angela Walker in for Matt Rainey.